It's a quick video today, but a topic that affects every single brass player at one time or another. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Brian from Airflow Music. Alongside publishing our books for brass players, we've been producing a bunch of videos with tips to make brass playing easier for you. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and the bell that pops up afterwards so you're notified of all of our videos. We're at that time of year where, for lots of us, the seasons are changing. Here in New York, we've finally gotten to some cooler, more autumnal weather. On the other side of the planet, it'll be moving from winter to spring to summer round about now. Either way, the change in the weather tends to affect how our lips feel. One of the questions I've been reading most lately is about what people like to use on their lips to take care of them. I'm talking about lip balms and creams and things like that. That's what I want to address here. Cutting straight to the chase, my favourite thing to put on my lips is nothing at all. I've tried a bunch of different lip balms over the years and while some have been better than others, I've never really liked how they make my lips feel or how they affect my response when I'm playing. If my lips feel dried out, and potentially cracked or chapped, then it's a sure sign that I'm dehydrated. This is my top tip for keeping your lips in good shape. Drink plenty of water. I've talked about this before. A large percentage of the human body is basically made of water. So it's important to replenish the supply to keep everything working properly. Skin and muscles work and recover best when you're hydrated. Now, we often use lip balms as a protective covering for the skin of the lips, particularly if we're in very inhospitable climates. Over the years, I've had occasion to work in some very cold places over the winter. Two of the colder ones were Minneapolis here in the USA and Helsinki in Finland. I visited both of these in February in different years. It gets really cold in both of them. These are not conditions where you want to be exposing the delicate skin of your lips to the elements. My approach in both of these, as it is any place cold, is to cover my mouth when I'm outside, rather than applying anything to my lips. There are also some lip repair products on the market which address dealing with swelling of the lips because of playing, or are geared towards things like cold sores. In the case of cold sores, you probably will want to apply something to help them heal more quickly. I'm fortunate that I don't personally suffer with them, although I am prone to canker sores, or mouth ulcers as we call them in the UK. I'm instructed that good results with cold sores can be found by using lysine, which has the benefit that it can be taken orally rather than just applying it as a cream. Please consult with your doctor about this. In terms of creams or ointments that cut down on swelling after or even during playing, I know that the Robinsons range of products are very popular right now. I've tried their Lip Renew, and it does work exactly as described. However, I still prefer to do without. I don't want a topical cream to distract me from a bigger problem. Speaking as somebody who injured their lips on a daily basis for many years, please know that it's not normal and shouldn't be something that you just experience as a part of playing the trumpet or any brass instrument. If your lips are swelling or cutting with any regularity as you play, it's a sign that something's not right. Something is out of balance in your technique, or in rarer cases you may be experiencing some kind of allergic reaction to your equipment. The good news is that it can be fixed. I did it, following some good advice from some smarter people than me, and I've subsequently helped many others with it too. If you've watched even a few of my videos, you'll know that playing efficiently is a central theme. It's actually one of the main reasons I make them. I don't want any of you to have to deal with the same pain I had to for many years. If you are struggling with regular lip pain or injury, please consider taking a lesson with me. I can help. I hope you've enjoyed this video, or at least have been given something to think about. Either way, please hit the like button below, and subscribe to the Airflow Music channel if you haven't already. I'm here with new videos every week between these Trumpet Pro Tips and the Exercise of the Week videos on Mondays. So please subscribe so you're notified when a new video is uploaded. I'll see you on the next video. In the meantime, grab yourself some water, then go practice.